Imagine four ordinary boys. They don't have many friends, but they all have something in common. They are dating their teachers. And if you're wondering how they managed to pull this off, that's what we'll see in today's video. I'm Lancelot and in today's anime recap we'll be watching, Why the hell are you here, teacher? The story begins with Sato going to the bathroom near the school pool, thinking it would be quiet since few people go there. However, inside, even though it's a men's bathroom, he finds his teacher sitting on the toilet. Kana was sure she had locked the door, but he said the lock was broken. She told him he should have checked before entering and explained that she decided to use this bathroom because the women's one was unavailable. The teacher admits it wasn't his fault and that everything would be fine, but she asks him to leave. However, the lock gets stuck, and he can't get out, which leaves him totally scared since she is known as the demon teacher among the students, and even the delinquents are afraid of her. He doesn't want to stay there with Kana and starts calling for help, but she tells him to be quiet, or she won't be able to hold it. Sato thinks that as soon as she's done, she'll destroy him, but before anything happens, other students start entering the bathroom, and the first thing he thinks is that help has arrived. However, she pulls him close to her, and the boy ends up with his face buried in the teacher's chest. She starts saying she can't hold it anymore, and during this, a ball hits the wall, and she lets go of what she was holding. When she's done, she freaks out and says she's going to make him forget everything that happened, but he hugs her and says he couldn't hold it anymore, meaning the protagonist wet his pants. A week later, Sato is still thinking about everything that happened. Feeling a bit exhausted, he tells Rin he's going to skip class and rest in the infirmary, as there shouldn't be anyone there at that time. However, he ends up finding teacher Kana there, and to cover up, he says he sprained his ankle. She has a cold and went to the infirmary to rest. Suddenly, she starts coughing and asks him to get her medicine, but the only one he finds needs to be applied to the back door. She's embarrassed but is so sick that she doesn't care and positions herself for the boy to apply the medicine. Kana asks him not to look, so Sato puts on a blindfold but ends up missing where he should apply it. Then, after some adjustments and using his hands to find the right spot, he manages, and she makes some very suspicious sounds but thanks him for the help. Moreover, they had barely finished when another teacher appeared, but everything was fine because Sato hid under the covers with Kana. The next day, we see that the protagonist caught the teacher's cold and regrets going to school in that state. However, Kana appears and says she's sorry he caught the cold, but she's very angry because she found out he lied about spraining his ankle, so as punishment, she gives Sato the same medicine she received, making the boy scream in despair. A few days later, while it was raining heavily, he ends up finding the teacher in the laundry room. On the way back from school, the rain started, so Kana got all wet, and it was the only place possible for her to escape the rain. Sato sees a dryer and tells her to dry her clothes. However, she's embarrassed to be without clothes in front of a student, so the boy lends her his shirt. The protagonist is terrified and says she is scared even with wet clothes. Then they realize the rain will take a while to pass, and to his surprise, Kana is very afraid of thunder, so she clings to Sato for protection. To make matters worse, they run out of power, so they go to the circuit breakers. However, since they are in a high place, she climbs on his shoulders to reach them, but realizing he can see her chest, Sato gets very nervous, and by grabbing where he shouldn't, the situation worsens, and he ends up ruining the clothes she was wearing. He realizes that this time he escaped death, and as a solution, she asks him to climb on top of her, saying she's capable of handling him. However, she soon realizes the idea wasn't very good when she notices something hard poking her head. With this, the protagonist says the storm wasn't the only thing that appeared suddenly, and she gets very angry. As if this unexpected encounter wasn't enough, another day he went to his maternal grandparents' house, and to his surprise, the teacher was also there. Kana says his mother asked her to babysit his little sister and mentions they are friends. Sato says he doesn't think she's good with children, and when she tries to show he's wrong, the girl starts crying a lot, as if it were the worst thing in the world. The teacher feels sad because children don't like her much and tells Sato that her parents want her to get married soon and give them some grandchildren. Sato asks what kind of man she's looking for, and Kana says she's not picky, just wants a younger man who likes taking care of others and whom children like. Suddenly, she realizes Sato has all these qualities but gets embarrassed and says she's not referring to him since they are teacher and student. They decide to play with the baby in the pool, but during a game, the protagonist's sister pulls Kana's bikini, almost knocking her out of the pool, but the two run to help her and end up kissing accidentally. 
Moreover, since the teacher was without her top, the baby thought it was feeding time, so she did that, and Kana wasn't sad because she thought the girl saw her as a maternal figure, meaning now she just needed to find a partner. While preparing dinner, Sato's mother comments that she knows Kana's parents want her to get married soon, so she says her son is totally available. When going to call Sato to eat, she thinks about what happened earlier, and upon entering the room, she sees Sato arranging the bed for the baby to sleep, but Kana freaks out, thinking he was already inviting her to bed. Continuing the story of this strange couple, another day, upon arriving home, the protagonist noticed someone was in his room, and when he entered, he saw it was the teacher. Basically, Sake, Sato's mother, called the teacher there, and when she arrived, she dragged her to the boy's room. Suddenly, his mother arrives with some drinks, and since Kana can't handle alcohol, she gets very drunk. They start reminiscing about past stories and remember a boy who was very special and encouraged her to become a teacher. Sato discovers that, in reality, he was the reason she became a teacher and the school's demon. In the past, Kana was very shy, but upon finding the little boy jumping off a bridge to become a man, she helped him and realized she could talk to him normally, thus deciding what she wanted to do when she grew up. Kana really wanted to reunite with the boy, and Sake reveals that it was Sato. With this, she throws herself on him and says she owes him a lot and wants to do something to repay the help. Thus, Sake tells her to repay by taking care of Sato, so she decides to leave the two alone and tells her son to go ahead because she likes Kana enough to be her daughter-in-law. The teacher ends up finding adult magazines in Sato's room and asks if he has ever done that kind of thing, and when he says no, she mentions that if he wants, they can play a little. He refuses because she is drunk, and Kana says that outside of school, she is not his teacher and asks him to call her big sister. She kisses him, but his mother enters the room and seems very happy with the situation, which makes Sato very embarrassed. At school, Sato is thoughtful about everything that happened and thinks that the fact that Kana is considered mean is in the past. Thus, when they see each other, he calls her big sister, which makes the teacher very angry and gives him a scolding in front of everyone, making him believe she doesn't remember the previous day. However, when she is alone, we see that she remembers everything and was just embarrassed by the way he called her at school. Thanks to a wedding invitation, they go to the beach, and the teacher ends up going along because the protagonist's father couldn't go. With this, Sake tells Sato that it was normal to take a trip like this with Kana since she will soon be part of the family. Moreover, she reveals that the teacher likes him and suggests that the boy take the day to understand her feelings, so Sake runs off with her daughter to leave them alone. Kana calls him to enjoy the day before the wedding, so they go to a more secluded place where she asks him to help her apply sunscreen. Even embarrassed, he does it, but while applying sunscreen on the teacher's back, he wonders if she really likes him until he says it out loud. Since she was distracted, she responds without thinking that she loves him, then gets embarrassed and asks him to pretend he never heard that until he graduates. She runs off into the sea but ends up getting a cramp, and he has to save her. However, upon getting out of the water, she feels something has stung her. When they look to the side, they see a sign saying there could be poisonous snakes in the area, so she is very afraid of dying, and Sato decides to suck out the venom, even though she was stung down there. Thus, he does it, and she faints, so they go to the hospital, but she had nothing and only fainted because she couldn't handle the situation. During the wedding, Kana thanks Sato for trying to save her and says it made her very happy. With this, the protagonist says that when he graduates, he will return alone with her to that place, but thinking it was a marriage proposal, she gets embarrassed and argues with him once again. The next day, Kana goes out for drinks with another teacher named Mayu, and during the conversation, Sato calls her, so Mayu says she is lucky because, unlike Kana, who talks to the person she likes, she doesn't even know Rin's number. At school, Sato reveals to Rin that he is dating teacher Kana but asks him not to tell anyone. Since the protagonist will graduate in a few months and he is younger, Rin realized he would be alone at lunchtime since no one can stay near him, fearing his appearance. Thus, Sato says it's a good opportunity for Rin to make new friends, and as he leaves, teacher Mayu arrives and asks if she can have lunch with him. Rin finds it strange and questions if she's not afraid, but Mayu says no because he is a great student, which makes him emotional because she is so kind. 
due to a completely strange confusion involving water that I can't show here at all. Rin lends her his sweatshirt because her clothes got wet. Later, she notices his transport pass was there, so she goes to the boy to return it, and they end up in another suggestive situation. Since the train was very crowded, Mayu's coat got stuck in the door, and because of the train's movement, she ended up hugging Rin with her shirt open, so he had to help the teacher get dressed again, but he ended up grabbing something else instead of the shirt buttons, and in the end, they managed to get out of there without anyone seeing her undressed. Another day, they meet again and discover they live near each other, but when they were leaving, they saw that the rain started. Suddenly, Rin's younger siblings appeared with an umbrella for him, and the boy had the idea to share it with the teacher. Thus, they returned together, and after another strange situation, she ran to her house. At night, she goes out with Kana, who ends up getting drunk and is taken home by Sato. Mayu feels a bit envious, wondering if Rin would do the same for her. In the past, three years ago, she was rushing to a job interview as a teacher but tripped and fell to the ground. Seeing this, Rin helped her and offered to take her to the interview location. Initially, she was scared of his appearance, but she realized the boy was a great person, and when they arrived, Mayu understood she had developed feelings for him. Back in the present, she wakes up on Rin's back because Sato called his friend and asked him to pick her up, which made her extremely happy. Due to a festival, the student council president, Mayu's sister, along with her and Rin, went to talk with representatives from another school. Upon arrival, they met Takashi and his teacher, who have a very strange relationship. When he returned home, he found her in his room, and we discovered they are neighbors and childhood friends. However, since she is older, Hikari always bothered the boy, even though some pranks seemed a bit violent. She ended up falling asleep, and a strange situation occurred similar to what we've been watching throughout this anime. Later, she took him to the mall because she wanted the boy to choose some underwear for her. He tried to escape but couldn't, which resulted in another strange and suggestive situation. They then went to a cafe where he apologized, but Hikari didn't seem to mind. Thus, Takashi understood that she was already an adult and acted as such, but when she returned with a cup of mixed sodas, he realized she was the same old Hikari. During an outdoor outing, the two ended up falling into the river, and as it started to rain heavily, they had to take shelter in a cave. Hikari noticed that Takashi was shivering from the cold, so she needed to warm him with her body, and of course, they had to remove their clothes for that. After a while, he felt better and realized that even though she sometimes seemed violent, Hikari was very kind, so he said out loud that he loved her, which made her embarrassed. With the festival starting, Rin couldn't believe he was with Mayu, and to not look like a teacher, she dressed in her schoolgirl outfit. However, Hikari recognized her and suggested they participate in a cops and robbers game. Moreover, she handcuffed Mayu and pulled her close, asking if the girl liked Rin. Hikari placed the two in a room where the key was hidden, and Mayu asked if he heard their conversation. He was embarrassed and said no, but he had heard everything. While thinking about it and searching for the key, he ended up dropping it inside Mayu's clothes, which opened her bra. With this, Rin tried to retrieve the key without looking but accidentally touched the wrong place. After they got the key, he apologized, but she said it was okay because she loved him. Thus, realizing what she said, Mayu ran out of there very embarrassed, and when Rin left the room wondering if it was wrong to have something with his teacher, he saw other couples composed of students and teachers, realizing that it was more normal than it seemed. The next day, Takashi and Saya went to see if the old school building could be a good place for a haunted house, but Hikari got jealous of the two's closeness and decided to scare the boy, only to end up falling into a hole. They found her, and when the girl went to get help, Takashi stayed and also ended up falling, but he saw something he shouldn't have. As the teacher couldn't hold it anymore to go to the bathroom, the boy had to hold a bucket for her to relieve herself. Upon getting out of the hole, she was completely embarrassed and tried to call Takashi, but he ignored her, making her think he had given up on her, even though, in reality, he was just embarrassed. With this, she put on a bear costume and decided to disrupt every couple she saw. However, Takashi discovered what was happening, 
and she said it was his fault because he abandoned her. After a completely suggestive situation, Rin and Saya found them and invited them to go to the haunted house, but the teacher didn't let Takashi leave, saying he belonged to her forever. Thus, even finding this confession a bit odd, Takashi was happy and confirmed that he belonged to her. Additionally, later, Mayu was looking for the bear because she believed that when it disrupted a love confession, the couple would stay together forever. However, she was mistaken and hugged Rin, asking for her confession to come true. Then, understanding that she wanted to be with him, Rin said he was poor at the moment, but if she accepted, he would like to marry her in the future, and this made her so happy that she fainted. On another day, we see that the three teachers' boyfriends became friends and told Tanaka what was happening. Thus, he decided it would be his life's mission to get a girlfriend before graduating, which would happen in three months, in hopes of having a group date with all of them. However, he has no chance of meeting someone at work, and at school, he doesn't usually talk to any girls. Accidentally, he bumps into the school nurse and gets her all dirty. She says it's okay, but he takes her to the locker room to help her clean up. Tanaka grabs a clean shirt for Tachibana, and she starts changing right there. However, he slips on the wet shirt and ends up falling on top of her. He apologizes, but she remains with her serious expression, and in the end, after all the strange situation that happened, he sprains his ankle, but before she could help him, the boy runs away embarrassed. Tachibana asks Hikari for help to be friendlier with the students, and the teacher's tip is to get to know them better. The scene cuts to Christmas at Tanaka's house. His parents went out, so he thought he would spend Christmas alone, but Tachibana showed up to spend Christmas with him and intended to film everything. He says he wants to know more about her, so the girl shows several pictures from her childhood, where she says she was very happy, even though her expression always remains the same. However, she mentions that she is happy this year because she won't spend Christmas alone like the previous year. Thus, after a suggestive confusion, they exchange gifts, and when she opens hers, Tanaka realizes Tachibana was happy, so he believes he started to understand her. On another day, we see the two on a trip, and Tanaka wondered how he ended up there with Tachibana. Going back to the past, we see he was helping her with some shopping, and since she received a lottery ticket, she promised to give him the prize. However, he accepted only half of the prize, and when she entered, she won a trip to an island. On the spot, she seemed eager for them to have fun together, so she took him to a place to swim, but it was forbidden to do so at that time. Thus, they tried to have fun another way, but Tachibana ended up falling into the water, and he had to jump in to help her. However, she had lost the bottom part of her bikini, and when he lifted her out of the water, he got an unexpected view. Later, he noticed she was looking at a magazine of good places to visit on the island because of him, as she wanted Tanaka to have fun, so he was happy and began to wonder if he was starting to like her. As the last activity, they went to the mountain to stargaze, but it started raining heavily, and they had to take shelter in a cave. As it was cold, she hugged him, but since it made him embarrassed, he slipped, and they both fell into a hole. In the end, after another suggestive scene, she was sad for not being able to see the stars with him, but the moonlight illuminated the cave, creating something very beautiful. Thus, Tanaka starts thinking out loud and ends up confessing that he is in love with Tachibana, which she seems to understand as if a student liked her a lot. Then, Tanaka realized that she only saw him as a student, but we see that this wasn't true, as Tachibana was very embarrassed. As time goes by, Valentine's Day arrives, and Tanaka saw that Takashi received chocolate from Hikari, so he also hoped to receive some from Tachibana. However, even after a long time, he hadn't received anything. Since it was snowing heavily, he decided to leave school, but when he tried to do so, he found the nurse collapsed on the ground, so he took her to the infirmary to warm up. He turns away so she can change and sees a box similar to the one Takashi received, along with her clothes, which he understood as her also receiving chocolate from Hikari. Before she could explain, she sneezes, so seeing how weak Tachibana was, he asks her to eat the chocolate, but Tachibana wanted to share it with him. The chocolate is soft because of the heater, and he ends up eating it alone in a suggestive scene.
She says it's okay because she made that chocolate for him, along with Hikari, which explained why the boxes were similar. With this, he asks her to date him, saying he wants her to see him not just as a student but as a man. However, she apologizes and says she can't do that, but we see there was a note inside the box that said, after graduation. The graduation day arrived, but he can only think about the day he was rejected by Tachibana. Later, Tanaka's friends came to his house because they wanted to plan a trip during the vacation. However, the boy didn't understand why the teachers were also there, especially Tachibana, after rejecting him. Suddenly, Tachibana ends up getting dirty, and when he goes to give her another shirt, the girl congratulates him on graduating. He thanks her and calls her sensei, but she says she's no longer his teacher, which he takes as rudeness and leaves her to change alone. While thinking about how to confess, Tachibana ends up tripping and gets caught in a fishing line, so upon hearing a noise coming from the room, Tanaka returns and sees she is in a very suggestive situation. Thus, he goes in search of scissors, but Hikari was also curious to know what the two were doing alone in the room, so she goes to snoop. However, to prevent anyone from seeing Tachibana like that, he runs, manages to close the door, and cut the line. She hugs him and says only he has the right to see her that way. So saying once again that she was no longer his teacher, Tachibana says she wants to date Tanaka, which makes him extremely happy. With this, he returns to where the others are and says he wants to travel to a place where they can see the stars. Thus, we see that all the students and their teachers are happy together. On vacation, the four couples went out together as promised, but upon arriving at the hotel, they discovered they hadn't made a reservation. At that place, there were only two rooms available, so Tachibana and Hikari said they would stay elsewhere. In reality, the nurse was prepared and had booked a room where they could see the stars. Tanaka couldn't be happier, and when they arrived at the hotel, he realized the place wasn't normal. Meanwhile, Hikari and Takashi were playing games, and the girl wanted to continue, but he said they should sleep soon. She didn't understand what he meant by that, so she ran off embarrassed. Since the hotel had hot springs, the teachers enjoyed them together while chatting. Back to Tanaka, he discovered that the stars were made with a projector, and since the place seemed like an adult hotel, he got very nervous. However, Tachibana was upset to discover that those were the stars the ad referred to. Not understanding the situation and trying to pretend he knew what he was doing, Tanaka couldn't take it and confessed to his beloved that he was inexperienced, but Tachibana didn't understand until she read the place's brochure more carefully, which left her unsure of what to do. Being together in the room, Sato and Kana started hearing some suspicious noises coming from Rin and Mayu's room. However, he was just giving her a massage, but since the other two didn't want to be left behind, they decided to do the same. Back to Tanaka, since Tachibana is a nurse, she decided to give him some lessons, which I can't show here at all, and let's say the boy went too fast before they really did anything, which made him sad. However, before sleeping, she comforted him, and he succeeded on his second attempt, which Mayu congratulated Tachibana on when they met again, and Hikari implied that she and Takashi also had a happy night. Well guys, this is how the first season of, Why the Hell Are You Here, Teacher, ends. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like and comment below what you thought of this anime. I hope everything is well with you, see you next time.